Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here, <clears throat> excuse me, on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. Got the early morning um, gunk in the throat. Oh lord. So in this uh, video, we're talking about ownership change. And it's been in the media, of course, and on a lot of the fans' minds as far as when is the deal going to be done. We kept hearing about a deal is going to be done soon. So what is the definition of soon? Some of us are thinking within the next few weeks. Some of us are thinking even within this week. Um, and then certainly people are saying at least by March. Well, I'm not sure if the definition of soon is by March for Washington football fans, right? Because... We want the deal done yesterday. Having said all of that, here's some news that we have uh, received. J.P. Looney, J.P. Looney, J.P. Finley. I'm getting him mixed up because we had a restaurant down here in Carolina called J.P. Looney's. <laughs> wow. And with that said, let's have some more caffeine, folks, because obviously you don't shoot a YouTube video without being properly caffeinated. Man, forgive me, J.P. Finley, not J.P. Looney. Oh, Lord. Okay, so, um, actually, I read this outline out yesterday. I'm glad I didn't shoot this video yesterday uh, because in my outline, I was talking about Todd Bohili making a strong push to be the front runner for the winning bid of the team. Well, things have changed, folks. Uh, Todd Bohili has pulled out of bidding for the Washington Commanders. So he is no longer in contention, contention of bidding to be the next owner of the Washington Commanders. Now, you know, Bohili was... Um, a local to the or is local to the DMV area. Um, he uh, purchased the Chelsea Football Club uh, soccer team uh, in the Premier League. Uh, he is a part owner of the Los Angeles Dodgers, the Lakers, and the WNBA's Los Angeles Sparks. <clears throat> I mean, on paper, you know, to me, uh, he, seemed like a pretty good choice, but then again, I don't know how well all of those teams are doing, so, but it doesn't matter anymore. It's moot point because Bo Healy is out. So J.P. Looney says, you know, of course, we also heard that Jeff Bezos never even put in a bid to begin with. Now, the whole talk all this time was Jeff Bezos, Jeff Bezos, Jeff Bezos, right? He was the one who everybody assumed was going to be the one bidding and getting the franchise because, well, number one, he has the money. Number two, he has been wanting to own an NFL franchise for a while. Now, does that mean that he's going to be a good owner? I don't know. But all of that said, he could easily write a check today and have the team now but there's animosity between daniel snyder and jeff bezos and snyder absolutely does not want to sell the team to jeff bezos but jeff bezos did not even bid on the team now that does not mean that jeff bezos is not going to bid on the team it basically i think what he decided to do is take the road of seeing what the bids were like in the initial stages. Now, it was reported earlier that the bids were north of $7 billion. That turned out to be false, actually. The bids turned out to be around maybe $6.3 million or billion, nothing near the seven north of $7 billion that uh, was originally reported. So very low bids considering what we all assume that the commanders may wind up going for, which was probably smart thinking when it, term, when it comes to terms for 
Jeff Bezos because you want to sit back and see how the other bids are. You don't want to get into a bidding war. You want to see how these other people are bidding to see if they kind of get to the end of their leash, right? Because these other billionaires, they don't have an infinite amount of, of, of dollars, right? They only have so much that they can spend on this franchise without getting a lot of partners involved. And even then, they're quite limited. Whereas you compare to Jeff Bezos, Jeff Bezos has enough money. He could probably buy the team for $10 billion if he wanted to and be okay. So that, this is not to say that Jeff Bezos is out at all. But for right now, he is at least temporarily out of it. So J.P. Finley says that leaves Josh Harris as the front runner. Now, what I was reading on Twitter this morning, some fans who or some people who maybe know Jeff Harris better than I, I don't know nothing about him, um, but... Jeff Harris seems like he has tanked some of the teams that he has been owner of, and so maybe that may not be the best choice for the Washington Commanders. I don't know, but uh, some folks feel like he's not the best choice. But he may be the front runner right now. Other people are asking, what about uh, Byron Allen? What about him? What about the the group? Um, I've got it in my notes here. Uh, the Igbele and fellow chin fellow chin that oh lord! I knew I was gonna not be too well with these names this early in the morning. Uh, but the Igbele group, what about them? Are they still on the running? Now the Igbele group. Uh, they attempted to purchase the minority stake of this team from the former minority owners, Fred Smith, uh, Robert Rothman, and uh, Dwight Schar back in 2020. Of course, Snyder blocked that and wound up buying out those minority owners himself. So that did that. So the, the Egg Bailey group, they could still be in a running, we would think. I'm not sure if Snyder wants to sell to them. You know, Snyder's being pretty snarky with this, right? So we're starting to to form some opinions, maybe some uneducated opinions about all of this, but why all of a sudden are we starting to see some of these bidders withdrawing their bids? Is it because that they see the writing on the wall and they see that the bids are going to be too high that they see that, you know, Bezos is just going to wind up swooping in and taking the team anyway. Or are they seeing that this is not going to be a controlling stake in the franchise like they thought it was going to be? I think that's probably a little less likely, but there's always a chance. We still haven't confirmed 100% that this is a total sale of the team. It seems likely that it is. I can't think of a reason how that Snyder would think he would be able to, you know, just sell a minority stake of the team and who would want to be in that marriage with, with Snyder. But I, I, I don't, you know, it, it makes no sense to me other than the fact that they're seeing that this next round of bids is just going to exceed past the limit of what they have. And you start getting into the super billionaires at that point. So I think by default, it could wind up being Jeff Bezos. And Snyder, trust me, in the end, Snyder may not have a choice but to sell to Jeff Bezos. Because if Jeff Bezos comes in and says, look, I will sell, I will purchase this team for, you know, $7.5 billion. 
you'd have to take that offer. You would have to because you as an owner, you know that you have not been very successful with the product on the field. So why would you want to continue knowing that you have been a bullseye target with the media, with with Congress, honestly, with with a lot of ex employees. I mean, you're you are not loved, Dan Snyder. You are not loved. So, and honestly, I think a lot of fellow owners are not too happy about them. And who's to say that that doesn't affect outcomes of games on the field? Uh, who's to say that doesn't affect Deals getting done to bring in certain players, certain coaches. Certain coaches won't come here because of Dan Snyder. So, I mean, why would you want to hold on to something that you single-handedly have ruined? You know, just to say that is mine. Don't don't be that way. And I, I think that even Snyder realizes that. So... Jeff Bezos probably in the end will be the sole billionaire standing. Now, is he going to be the best owner for the job? That remains to be seen. I don't know. Has he ever owned a sports franchise before? We know that he's never owned an NFL franchise before. And quite frankly, I would love to have a an organization you know, group, an owner, whoever, come in and establish the the correct pecking order to have a general manager who comes in who takes care of everything with football operations, who hires the right group of people, scouting, which I don't think scouting's been bad, so I think you keep the right people in scouting, but obviously the right coaching and all that and you let the general manager do his thing and you leave it alone you don't meddle with it you go to the games you enjoy the games on sunday and that's it and we have not had that since jack King cook folks let me know what you think in the comments section below please 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 like this video interact with it Helps the algorithm, helps me out a lot. At least it's free to you to just hit that thumbs up button. Um, comment, if you don't mind, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Who do you think should be the best owner? Uh, tell me why you like Jeff Bezos. Tell me why you like Josh Harris or or don't like Josh Harris or, or, or uh, Byron Allen, any of these guys. Maybe there's some other names out there that you think uh, should consider ownership of this team. As well, if you think that this video provides value to someone else, share it out. Give it give it to somebody else. Let them uh, watch it, please. Um, with that said, thank you all. Uh, please consider subscribing to this channel. I try to put out videos as much as I possibly can. That being said, you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.